Daisy Thomas birthday yeah. boy. Oh, Happy yes. birthday, Daisy. Thank you very much, team. Good morning. How are you feeling? Fresh? Oh, no, I'm no good, mate. I've just <laughs> wandered down from King Street. Um, I've, I've had one of the all-time great weeks. Revolver Saturday night, straight through all up 161. And, and here I am. No, um, oh, no. I did oh, bugger all, all weekend, to be completely honest. So <laughs> it's great to be here, though. Mm. It's, yeah. It's What'd you do over the weekend? You had to go oh, up to Sydney? Yeah, I went up. Uh, Triple M treated me to a birthday present to go watch the Blues play the Giants out yeah. at Giants Stadium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How was that? Well, Doesn't I, look good on the scoreboard. Well, I sort of, I posted a question and it, it became quite funny mid-call. I asked if there was COVID restrictions for the crowd <laughs> and I wasn't taking the piss. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, apparently they'd. There wasn't. They there just wasn't. don't get a crowd. Yeah, right. So I think there was about uh, 7,000 people went out there to watch that. Really? Yeah, the yeah. biggest crowd of the weekend was in Launceston. Yeah, but 7,000 is awful. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> for GWS at home. Yeah. I mean, it, um, uh, you know, admittedly, Carlton aren't traveling that well, but yeah. I would have thought 7,000. No, so it wasn't a great spectacle. But um, no, look, it was, you know, it was nice. It was nice to go through an airport and mm. just, just see a few people that aren't obviously the, your knockabouts. And mm. I love the rules in airports flying back at uh, eight o'clock. I had a flight. So I was at the airport at court to seven. Cause mm. I hate being late and just watching a bloke knock back a couple of VBs Ugh. talking excessively loud <laughs> on his phone. Oh, yeah. oh no. Yes. A VB yeah. at yeah. seven. And then looking in the mirror and realizing it was me. <laughs> 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 it's just no rules in airports. It's the best part of it. What about Friday night? That was a belter, wasn't it? That was an absolute cracking game down at the cattery again. Mm. <laughs> Crowbar oh, them all together. Oh yeah, just yeah. You know, we'll we'll only let a few people in because yeah. of COVID. Yeah. But the people we let in, you're bloody sitting right next to each other on the wings, and that's it. We won't spread you out. That makes no sense at all. And then, of course, the the famous goal after the siren, and mm. then they all pile on each other. And then for the optics of the AFL, because in the do gooder world we live in now, mm. they go and sing the song. 30 seconds post after piling on each other and they put their masks on. Oh, so that's a nice touch, isn't it? It's just, you know, <laughs> because COVID obviously doesn't spread if you just keep the match winning goal. But nah. when you're singing the song, it's <laughs> yes. a lot higher chance. In that first massive lockdown, remember dudes were like fist bumping and stuff, <laughs> yeah, and trying yeah. to do elbows, Pretend stay away from shaking. each other. Yeah, it didn't uh, last long. No, nah, it's, it's still weird times. But hopefully this weekend... I saw Damien Barrett, Triple M Zone, last night reporting mm. we should have some crowds this weekend. Yes, they're saying about 30%, aren't they, Will? 20 to 30, they're hoping for at the MCG, which would be good. That's uh. at least something. So fingers crossed, because there's a couple of uh, decent games this weekend. The, uh. the Pies are playing at Marvel Stadium on Saturday and then the Bombers Saturday night. Yeah, six of the top eight play each other this week. So <laughs> that's a good round of footy. Yeah. Well, what about North? You haven't discussed North v Brisbane. <laughs> that was, they were actually okay. I didn't see a lot of it. I was just checking the scores. Mm. But from all reports, they were competitive again. It, they've actually, they've turned a corner. Mm. They've got a little bit of belief down there. Um, the first part of the season, obviously going horribly, but now they've sort of figured out a bit of a groove, low scoring affair. It was a pretty, mm. yeah. Yes, Brisbane scoring 68 points is... That's as probably nice as I can be to North Melbourne. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> a low scoring yeah, a affair. Low scoring that affair. was as diplomatic as you've ever been. 8.48, Daisy Thomas is with us this morning. Daisy's winners. Winning. I win here and I win there. Daisy, before we do winners and losers, we got you a cake. Happy Yay. birthday. We're going to ah, sing. Our mission is to sing Happy you more. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Daisy. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Hip it. Hey. Hip it. Oh. Hey. Yeah, blow that out quickly so um, the sprinkler doesn't go off. Lauren yes. made that for you. Did you really? She assembled that from several profito rolls. I got that excited on the when you just brought it in there at first mm. glance. I thought they might have been dim sims. <laughs> <laughs> I thought if there was the perfect cake. A dim, dim sim I, cake is I, actually a great idea. Oh, I, I'm still very grateful, but... Uh. Crikey, just smacking yeah. 15 or however many Tim Sims pre. Would have been fun. Oh, boy. We've yeah. missed an opportunity there. That's Next right. year, you'll get a Dim Sim cake. And very COVID-safe blowout too, so everyone come partake in yeah. eating them too. Mm, right? Yeah. Beautiful. And mainly Tilly, who's outside now, who's uh, good luck to her teacher at school in the next <laughs> half hour as she's just <laughs> put three in her mouth. Anyway, <laughs> the beauty of schooling. Winners and losers, winners, Daisy. Well, winners and losers, and I've had a bit of time to reflect over the weekend. There wasn't a whole lot of footy, so mm. I've decided I'm just going to do winners from now on. Oh, Oh, okay. We, we don't yeah. want to come in on a Monday and just put the bad juju out there for the I week like of that. a bit of negative energy. So yeah. from now on. Winners um, only. Winners only. Which... Well, we'll have to change the opener. Yeah. No, that's fine. You can 
if there's a big enough loser on one weekend, I might still clip them. But okay, good. It just halves my workload, so really. So <laughs> just winners, generally winners, but occasional losers. Yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll just do the better parts of the weekend. I think that's just a nicer way to start off your week. Nice. We all happy with that? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Good. Because my good segment's deal. so stiff. Shoot. I'm just happy uh, you're here. <laughs> so. The, <laughs> <laughs> the biggest or the number one uh, winner for the weekend was the catch. We spoke about that. How good Friday night footy, just a Cracker. ripping game. And of course, Gary Rowan. Mm. It, now, this is a bloke who hasn't been the most consistent footballer throughout his career. No, and big, off, off field had a bit of a rough well, time. Well, he's buggered up a few times, it's safe to say. And in big games, he's tended to go missing through mm. most of his career, which is, you know, that's not a dig. That's just the cold, hard facts. This season, he's been unbelievable mm. in big games. And then just the composure after the bell to go back and kick it on a cold, wet night down there. Mm. Absolute scenes that and was. And then give everyone COVID. And then just, just <laughs> spread it as quick as you like. <laughs> Dead set super spreader set up. So well done to him. Uh, the, um, this is slightly old, my second winner of the week, the tribunal for last week. Yeah, that was good. I didn't get to come in after the big, uh, the big case, but good to see some common sense coming into this game. Because mm. We all spoke about what does this mean for the game going forward if he's found guilty, that being uh, McKay, McKay from Adelaide, I should say. Mm. Just good that they appointed some footballing people to make the decision. Mm. Yeah. I gave the tribunal a clip for not actually having the balls to make a decision or the MRO himself, but mm. good to see the right outcome in the end. No, I agree. What about just how long it dragged on for, though? That's a the three over three hours. Oh, like, crikey. what are you talking about? They yeah. must have just been catching up. Anytime for the first you've got biomechanists and uh, lawyers, and oh, yeah, I know it's not that hard. Did he hit him in the head? Did he mean to? Could he make a decision? Yes or no? Yeah, sweet. Everyone back to the pub. Yeah, uh, the third <laughs> biggest winner, just the stars of the competition. I'm giving it to this week. This is just nice. Some really good performances. Toby Green uh, for the GWS Giants. The torpedo he kicked at mm. uh, half time, I think it was, or quarter time. Did you see that? Slotted it. I didn't see it. So got a free kick about 55 metres out. And just went, went for it. Just went back after the bell, no worries, and just put it through three quarter post high. Beautiful. How good's that? We love the torp. What a kick. The torp is back. Jakey Stringer, the package, unbelievable down in Hobart. 29 oh. disposals, four goals, one. 12 score involvements. Just Jeez. turn that game on its head. He's on fire. He is on fire. The Bombers are on fire. And Oli Wines. 43 disposals. He, if he's not leading the Brown at this point, he will be very, very close. All right. He's yeah. leading the triple MVP. I know well, that. and that's, well, if you don't win the Brown low, you may as well win the triple MVP. <laughs> right. Right. The next You're step. absolutely <laughs> right. <laughs> What's the, what do you, do you get the mongrel boots? I reckon mongrel, mongrel boots are the sponsor. Absolutely. Got, I think you get, you got like a watch or something nice. Last year. What yeah. a watch. I should, I should find out. <laughs> Just a little flick on strap. <laughs> no, it's a great award, the triple MVP, and everyone wants to win that. But so to the stars of the game, well done to them. And well done to me. It's my birthday. I've been Daisy <laughs> Thomas. You've been all right. See you next week. Have a great hey. week. The Mighty Sheargold Show. Triple M.